All right, it's time for another serving of Nam and Eggs. Yesterday's Broncos game went from an insomniac's dream to a thrilling ending. Now, this is what Heather Skull posted on social media yesterday after the game, that she's recovering from a Broncos heart attack. I told her that was a poor choice of words, but that's for another day. All right, after two and a half dormant quarters, the Broncos offense finally came alive. Some will point to this Philip Lindsay 55-yard touchdown as the catalyst for the comeback. By the way, I have a man crush on Philip Lindsay. Just love the way he plays football. But I believe it started with the defense. That Bryce Callahan interception in the end zone late in the third quarter prevented the Chargers from scoring any points. Remember, the Broncos won by a French fry, one point. And after that, pardon me, came after the Drew Locke interception. Callahan has been one of the most consistent players on the Broncos during the first half of the season. I think the other underrated player in the Broncos, D., is that guy, Kareem Jackson. K-Jack was jacking people up in the fourth quarter, which helped the Broncos hijack a victory from their division foe, the Chargers. The win against the Bolts truly gives this team a jolt because at 3-4, and four, their schedule is favorable going forward. They have the Falcons, Raiders, and Dolphins the next three weeks. I'm not saying they'll be playing in Tampa the first Sunday in February, but at least their season is off of life support. And now, perhaps for the first time since late last season, there's joy and life back in Broncos country. Guys, what's on tonight? <laughs> okay, maybe a poor choice of words, That's right. friend. Don't use heart attack again <laughs> in a post. <laughs> not We're all you feeling anyway. it, though. She's not the only one. Ah, glad your ticker allows you to That's be right.